Welcome to Covering and Sealing Silage Piles from Lalamond Animal Nutrition. This video will demonstrate the benefits of and how to correctly cover and seal silage piles. Other videos from Lalamond Animal Nutrition provide more detail on harvesting and cutting forage, applying inoculants, properly constructing drive over piles, and the basics of silage safety. For more information about these and other areas of silage management, visit qualitysilage.com, lalamondanimalnutrition.com, or the Lalamond Animal Nutrition YouTube channel. Dry matter losses can be greatly reduced in drive over piles if they are covered and sealed with suitable plastic weighted down efficiently, usually with tires or gravel filled bags. Covering and sealing drive over piles also improves the quality of silage fermentation and reduces spoilage in the top layers. The maintenance in yield and quality translates into improved digestibility of nutrients when fed. If spoiled silage is mixed into a ration, intake and digestibility of the whole ration are reduced. Improved silage dry matter and nutrient recovery, plus better herd health and fertility, make covering and sealing one of the most profitable management practices you can adopt. Efficiently covering and sealing silage can return more than 10% in improved silage dry matter recovery in the top 3 feet or 1 meter of a pile or bunker. Use plastic that is at least 90 micron thick and don't skimp on quality. The cost of plastic is trivial in comparison to its importance to silage quality and dry matter recovery. Validated oxygen barrier plastics are effective for further reducing surface spoilage but must be covered with a regular top sheet or tarp to protect from UV and other damage. Dual layer black inner and white outer thick plastic resists deterioration well. Cover the entire pile, including all slopes. Overlap the plastic at seams by at least 4 feet or 1.2 meters to prevent air ingress. There should be a similar overlap allowed where the plastic meets the ground. Make sure that these overlap areas are well weighted down. Tire to tire placement is still the most popular way to keep plastic in place. Gravel or sand filled bags can also be used as weights and can be more convenient to store and use. All plastic covers need to be weighted down properly, including the overlap on the ground, to minimize air ingress. Silage quality can deteriorate rapidly during feedout, as the exposed silage surface is open to air and oxygen for long periods of time. In the presence of oxygen, yeast cells that were dormant in the anaerobic environment can become active. This growth of yeast is the primary cause of silage heating, causing significant dry matter and energy losses at feedout. Inoculants which improve aerobic stability from Lalamond have been reviewed by the FDA to allow claims for preventing heating and spoilage in silage and high moisture corn. Improved aerobic stability is key to maximizing nutrient retention in the ensiled feed. Always use good face management. Do not leave loose silage piled up on the floor of the silo. Keep the face as flat as possible and feed out at a rate that prevents heating in the exposed surface. Ideally, use a silage rake, facer, block cutter, or other specialized silage removal equipment, or shave the face laterally. Never scrape up a silage face. Never feed moldy silage. It can cause serious health and fertility problems and or production losses. Growing and ensiling high quality feedstuffs are essential to managing an efficient dairy. Quality forages play a significant role in cow productivity and health, with feed costs a major factor in overall profitability. Maximizing forage quality through proper ensiling is a vital part of the overall management program. Thanks to Green Valley Dairy for their contribution to the production of these silage management videos. For more information about covering and sealing silage, or for other silage management tips, visit qualitysilage.com, lalamondanimalnutrition.com, or the Lalamond Animal Nutrition YouTube channel.